Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and in this amazing video I will talk about serious, such serious thing that breaking of gel nails. Sometimes clients visit another nail technicians and um, they sometimes break the rules of uh, the technique and when they apply long nails they don't build the apex. This is the first reason why we have cracks and breakings of gel nails, especially on the middle of the natural nail, like you can see on the video. Sometimes clients um, forget to visit nail studio again to info their nails in time. Therefore, the product, the gel, can be bre uh, can be broken because the epic zone, the stress zone, is growing down, and the risk of breaking is increasing day by day. How to protect nails from breaking? Of course, the first choice is the perfect builder gel. I'm using Sculpting Mix gel and my clients practically practically have no breakings because this gel is, is either hard and either flexible. These two effects helps him to be effective in sculpting gel nails because if the product is only hard it can be easily broken sometimes we have some uh, some effect with acrylic nails because acryl is very hard but it can be easily broken like a glass but the sculpting mix gel is also flexible so sometimes something is pressing on the nail and the flexible texture or consistency of this product helps helps him not to be broken it's something like to try to bend the knife. It's not easy to bend it, but if we bend the knife, it will be um, it, it will it will be only bended, but not be broken. But some kinds of steel are too hard, and we can easily break these tools. So. I can advise you guys to use this product for sculpting long nails. The first, the first uh, thing is the gel, is quality of gel, and the second thing to protect gel nails from breakings is the correct technique. At first. This is the correct way of sculpting nails. You should just remember guys, the longer the nail, the wider the apex stress zone. What is the apex stress zone? This is the dot or the point uh, right in the middle of the natural nail. Somewhere in the middle. Right in this place we have the maximum um, maximum power of uh, stretching of the product and right in this place we should have the stronger the wider layer of the product to protect the, the extended nail from breakings you should remember that the wider 
uh, the longer the nail, the wider the stress zone. The upper should be apex, especially for long stiletto nails. We should build the maximum, the wider stress zone, which would would should be built. Uh, built as closer to cuticles area as you can so only in this way the nail will be protected I mean this zone sometimes you ask why the uh, the length the length of the nail has uh, is thinner than the apex stress zone so I can answer guys that if we have breaking on the length of the nail, it, it's not critic, it's not bad, it's not uh, painful. But if the nail is broken on the middle of the natural nail, like in this video, this is very painful and we should protect our clients from these problems. Maybe my English doesn't allow me to explain all details of this serious thing but I think my subscribers and my friends will help me to explain and to detailize this topic write down in the comments or just share your thoughts about this topic because I have a lot of emails from my customers and they don't know how to sculpt nails properly and video by video I'm trying to teach you that uh, we, sh we shouldn't only um, inlay nails with the gel we should learn how to build or, or how to sculpt nails properly and correctly so guys, uh, you should do it by yourself and you should learn this technique if you want to be a successful nail technician. Let's come back to the nail design and as you can see I'm working now with uh, the top cut. I have applied a uh, thin layer of the powder, silver powder. I have some clients who prefer such screaming nail designs. And sure, nail not design. every woman wants to wants to have French manicure or something sweet on her nails. Some clients want to have bright flowers, colorful compositions or gold silver elements. Or rhinestones. It depends on what. It depends on style of woman. And you should, you as a nail technician, should um, agree. Sometimes agree with their opinion because I have some friends, nail tech, who try to persuade or try to give your client own opinion to say that it's not good it's not in trend it looks awful of course in this case you have a risk to lose such client because every client may have their your own preferences I think it's normal what do you think about it but in Russia, we have all stereotypes. Some people, some people can look on your hands or look on your nails and tell something bad about your hands or about you. This is stereotypes, and we have also we have still bad sides in our society, bad feelings and opinions about some groups of people and I think that this is 
this is awful and that's why I like some European cultures because uh, the culture, the society uh, is uh, more friendly to some small groups of people who uh, don't agree with uh, common opinion. So guys, let's come back to the nail design and as you can see I'm applying dark glitter and I'm drawing red gel paint on some fingers. I will try to show you how to apply 3D, 3D nail design with flowers. So again about the question what type of products to choose as a color gel or gel polish. You know guys, uh, it depends on what. Some clients use, some nail technicians used to work with gel polish because it's comfortable for them, because each bottle has its own brush and it's not needed to clean brushes. But another opinion, other nail technicians prefer gel paint. Why? Just because, for example, Unicorn gel paint, which is available now on the um, Shape of Nail Topcom store, Unicorn gel paint um, has more uh, product in the bottle, which is more economic. This gel paint is more pigmented, and of course, the price. I think you will never find high quality, high pigmented gel paint which can be used not only for covering the whole nail plate but also for the nail design. You will never find such product. 10 milliliters for one dollar. You will never find this high quality product. Not in the bottles, not on eBay anything any anywhere else because I see that even less expensive Chinese manufacturers they produce gel polish in plastic bottles but they they have those bottles have only three or four milliliters so these three or four milliliters are staying only on the walls of the bottle and on the bottle so you you may use this plastic bottle only on one in on one time just for painting your short nails and after that you can uh, you can throw this bottle into the trash so these are only gel polish on one time but the collection of unicorn gel paint is more useful because you, you can apply more than 50 clients. There are a lot of gel paint in the bottle. It's easy to remove this gel paint using any type of brush from the bottle. This bottle have uh, have, uh, it's very comfortable to take product and it's very comfortable to use this, bo uh, this bottle as a palette. You just can remove the cup and use the cup as a palette. My friends from European countries, um, trainers, they use this gel paint to train their students nail art techniques because these gel paints are very pigmented and colors are beautiful so don't lose the chance to buy this fantastic gel paint to try it will work for you for a long time so this is the professional product not the product only on one time you will see it and let's 
take a look on the result. These nails are made using the Sculpting Mix gel, professional gel paint, black and red, glitter, 3D gel, some rhinestones, and these nails have sculpted in about 40 minutes and all work took about one hour it's very quickly so guys have a good day all products you can find on shapeofnail.com see you in the next videos bye